Can I talk to you a second? Sure. I'm just so worried about Karen, Arthur. Why? You know why. She's gonna kill herself when she hits the liquor. Sure, but... But I guess that's her choice. <sighs> I'll try speaking with her. Thanks, Arthur. I'll try to. But... We both know it won't work. Hello, Susan. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. Arthur. for now and you all ain't so bad abigail she's as good as hey they there, come. so everyone keeps telling me mrs ed hello at least someone around here's got a brain in his head hey You okay, Arthur? Sure. You don't look okay. Uh, I'm fine. What you been doing? <sighs> Acting like a fool. How so? <sighs> Hurting and robbing folks I didn't need to. My, you have been busy. <laughs> well, that's one way of looking at it. You're a good man, Arthur. Underneath, I mean. I've lost my mind, Mary Beth. It finally happened. I, I don't feel in control. Just stay calm and do what you do best. It seems I'm best in mayhem. Sure, I'm no better than Micah. Yes, you are. Just do what you gotta do and stop getting into trouble. <clears throat> we'll see. Charles? You busy? No. What? Fella sold me these plans. Oh, what do you gotta ask him for, Charles? Me? He's just gonna make a big drama out of it. You know he will. Drama out of what? <laughs> Only the easiest little bank score ever got taken. Well, I don't like robbing banks now. You like complaining and whining. We never robbed that bank in Rhodes. Arthur's good. He's the best man we got. And this is easy. But he complains a lot. <sighs> what is it? Turns out there's a big weakness in the building. They replaced a window to improve security, but the bricks are real weak. So? <laughs> the vault right behind. The fellow sold me the plans, told me all about it. It's an open secret in town, due to be fixed any day, apparently. And we got enough explosives? I don't think so. Well, then, what are we waiting for? Come on! Well, just no wine in there, Arthur Morgan. Oh, shut up. I'll make you wine. <laughs> oh, give me this. Trapped in a burning barn this time, Uncle. 
And you try not to kill half the town over some imaginary goal. <laughs> he has a point there. There's the bank. Just there. I see it. Yeah. This way. Let's rest here till dark. There's a bank. What kind of bank robbery? It's time. Let's go. All right. Wake up, beautiful. What, already? Yes, come on. All right. Let's see what's going on. That boy over there, he's a guard for sure. Well, I'll go deal with him. Silently, please. Of course. Grab that spool, Arthur. Unspool that wire to about 30 feet away. Sure. Thanks. This won't take long.
go, gentlemen. Quick. Coming. Let's go. We did. We did okay, I think. Here, and thank you, boys. That was fun. Now, don't forget to give the camp its share, Uncle. Oh, as if I would. As if. Now, split up, both of you. Let's get moving. dressed up like that for? Oh, I am a wanted man, persecuted for my art! As bad as it is, <laughs> I don't think that the art is the problem. In Paris, they say leave, go far away, we will never understand you here. I say, I go to Saint-Denis, they say that is not far enough. <laughs> it seems to me that they were right. But it doesn't matter. Now, I go to South Pacific. They always tell me the light there is perfect for my work. Well, so long as they weren't telling you that just to get you on the other side of the world. Perhaps. It doesn't matter. Help me get to the next ship. They are watching the port, and I need a chaperone. <sighs> okay, come on. Oh. I'll tell you what I want, miss. Civilization! So repressive! So stifling! I can hardly breathe in this city! Yeah, I kinda know what you mean. Why I thought I would find my way in a country founded by Puritans, I'll never know! I know those men! Oh, I shot on a bar! Quick, behind here! We stay behind here! We go! We go! <laughs> we are away! Come now! Follow me! Those fellas... You... shat on their bar? But of course! I needed to shit! Hey! Come on! My fresh excrement was better than any of the drinks they served in there! Remind me to avoid that place. Back, back. See money lenders. We go another way. A man owes us money. Hey! We go through here. What's this? <gasps> Quickly! <laughs> I thought I knew him. Please do not do that again. Huh. Now get moving, come on. So, wait. You ain't so none of your work. 
There is always a heavy demand for fresh mediocrity, but new kinds of failures. Not so much. The new kind? The whole in offense. We go through there. Where are you going, pretty lady? Anywhere you want, mon ami. <sighs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> If the purpose of life was to be liked, it would be very boring indeed. I've developed a feeling the purpose ain't to be hated. Hate, love, they are the same. I provoke, I challenge, I amuse during art. With my impropriety, a mediocre life is meaningless. A bold life filled with art and truth, dirty truth. Look at you, pretty little thing! Whoa. Oh, 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 oh. Hello, boys. Come on. Come on back now, baby! Whoa. Whoa. I hope the sailors know who they're bunking with. We have many weeks together. We will get to know each other well. Well, good luck to all of you. Relax. Hey, up here. She is my sheep. <sighs> we made it. Let's go. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, I got him. He's out here. Uh, more friends? Ah. I'll deal with him. Ah. I have another friend out here. Ship's leaving soon. Ah, merci, merci. All aboard for the South Pacific. Adieu. Merci, mon ami. So long. If they don't like you in the islands, keep on going to the South Pole. Ah, yes. I hear there. The light is really fantastic. Ah, au revoir. Demonstration of my most marvelous machine, the humane electric. <laughs> You're going to be in a better place. Stay calm, breathe deep, and repent, or you will be moved to a better realm. Ladies and gentlemen, behold. The calm removal of this man's existence! <laughs> Life 
and troubled, but his passing is peaceful. Kill him already. Somebody shoot me, please. Oh, let's get up. You don't seem overly humane to me. I think it's mighty fine. I've been covered in worse, Fran. Arthur! Arthur! Up here! You came! Yeah. I came. So, uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. Call for me, I'll come. Uh, oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I, I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but, but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than... Than, than me? Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and horn and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Please. I'm sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else, but... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. I, it all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur, you know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. Oh, Arthur. I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, 
I didn't. But... Well... I don't know. So what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace, a man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this way. But it has got worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever, pawning things off left and right, mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. You can't stand there. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on a lady. She's a fine lady. She's just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you and make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Never been so to me. Apology accepted. Oh, my own wait daughter. right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, it's... Daddy, please, come home. You're tired, Daddy, tired I and I have unwell. no such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Damn nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur. He's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. This way. He went around the corner. Oh. Hold up, Arthur. You can see why he has such a high opinion of himself. We'll just follow the smell. Arthur, come on. He just went between those crates. Come here, huh. quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. Sorry? Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. What did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! He's heading across the road. You know, this is kind of fun. Shh, he'll hear you. You could have cleaned yourself up a bit. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. Hey. He just went left down that alleyway. 
What's he doing? Let's go find out. Don't say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. Don't lose sight of him. What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals, or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was That's mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not even a to sell. Oh, it's like just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself Come killed. You don't understand. Mother enough. left it to me. You, you sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. He'll probably kill someone. Hey, you, Ashton! Hold her right there! God damn it. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. It's just a brooch. I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. Here. Yeah, take the damn thing. Crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Somebody's gonna pay for this.
Where's your father? I don't know. You want me to go find him again? Not really. Well, let's take a walk. I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Uh, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Hey. What are you doing now? Right this moment? Why'd you ask? <laughs> well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Uh, head to the theater, perhaps. Uh. Theater? Me? Sure, why not? <laughs> It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on <laughs> You and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Well, of course I'm your friend, but... <laughs> you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well... That's true. <laughs> so, shut up and act like a gentleman, or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice woman, Mrs. <laughs> Lynn. Well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of beautiful, in a gaudy and tasteless way. That's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Well, no, I didn't mean it like that. I... I'm sure. <clears throat> You silly man. Come on, let's go find our seats. How about here on the right? Sure. After you. of entertainment since Nero himself. Do not doubt. As a child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality. Just as starting a or not. Are you of in a rush? The greatest Arthur? show ever assembled. Prepare for the grandest excitement of your curiosity. You all Fire, see this? Snakes and magic. I encourage any of you to dabble in all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift that will see you through the winter better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Koninsky! Ahead 
flawless. Perfect. Oh, I see you, you, you love her dulcet tones, right? Yes, she is pure spectacle, and I assure you she can charm any beast, any beast at all, from cockroach to killer whale. <laughs> Your mother most likely told you not to play with fire or to spend time in the company of strange women. You are about to do both. <laughs> Miss Antoinette Sanserino. Yeah! Stop it. Oh, look. away from the curtain. Enchanting! Mesmerizing! She is truly one to bring home to mother. <laughs> it is said that there is a place in France where the naked ladies dance. I have been there. Prepare for the body braziers of the Petit Flaneur in Gay Paris!
Whoa, incredible. Aren't they lovely? Oh, those legs are a sight to behold. I am spent. <laughs> Each of my shows is truly incredulous. Oh, inspiring, and I'm sure you enjoyed. Thank you. <laughs> we flounder through the morass of humanity with only bright moments like these before it all goes dim and snuffs out in silence. So thank you. What a lovely evening. Come back tomorrow. All right. Well, shall we? Yes. That was fun, Arthur. <laughs> it was. <laughs> uh. All right. You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> Quite ridiculous, but somehow very amusing. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> My life wasn't supposed to... Oh. Is it too late for us, Arthur? I can't lie to you. I want it, man, Mary. If I... If anyone close to me, well, they wanted to. And I can't have you wrapped up in there. But it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Run away right now and don't look back. I want to. But I've got some people I need to take care of. Once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're gonna run away anywhere, we'd need money. And soon, I'll have some. I know you won't run away. But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will. Once I get some money, I had some. But then some fool got it trapped into a town that I can't go back to. That's another story. I'll write you. Really funny he is. <laughs> hey, mister. Hey, partner. This is ridiculous, mate. You're telling me. Might be time to call it quits. You what? Have you gone mad? I love that boy. Big bloody dope that he is. No? No, I'll find him. Uh, he's, he's probably just off on a spree, if I know Gav. <laughs> well, good luck. Oh, I am so worried. Gav! Gav! Uh, Gav! Where are you? Where are you? Nice place you brought us to, my brother. Yes. Lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, makes me miss freezing to death in the mountains. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, well, I should be getting on. Sound good. Evening, Arthur. Evening, Arthur. Sure is nice seeing the kid back around. I don't know if I could have gone on much longer. All in the past now. All right. Evening, Arthur. 